How are you doing guys? Welcome back, it's LSP, it's currently the 6th of April 2021. I'm going to do the usual rundown on Bitcoin, Swiss Borg, um, do a little bit of Ether as well, uh, and then obviously I'll do a very quick rundown on the rest. Um, probably what I'll do is I'll just, when I get to RAN and NG and whatever else, I'll, I'll just put the levels on um, to just be mindful of, but the main focus of our uh, you know analysis is uh, you know, Swiss Borg and Bitcoin. So, um, as always guys, these are just my thoughts and opinions, you know, make sure that you stick to your own plan, do your own research. Uh, and we'll take it from there. So uh, with Bitcoin, um, I made a note here of this untapped liquidity. Uh, for me, it's still on the cards. Yeah. You know, uh, Bitcoin's had plenty of opportunity to just run, you know, at this point. Um, but it's very good that it's stabilizing up in this area. I've had a very nice price response from here. I know I keep repeating myself, but you know, the first initial tap into this liquidity down here and boom, off it goes. So um, this this small pullback just came shy. Okay, it did it did dip into this liquidity pool on the daily. But when you drop down to the four hour, you can see that it's it, it's it's very close. Yeah, it's very close. It would have it would have dipped into the uh, the upper end of the liquidity pool very, very slightly. But, you know, um, the response away from that was pretty decent um but if you take the the overall picture you know uh, and i'll just make a reference to it here so the overall picture is effectively this yeah and we're kind of grinding sideways um which means it's holding pretty well so my thinking on this um the way that the flow is going you know is that bitcoin's and I, and don't quote me on this this is just something that uh you know from experience i i think we may see um, but before I say, I am bullish. You know, I do see higher prices on Bitcoin. Liquidity up here is going to get taken. There's a lot of rest in liquidity above these highs now as well. So it's all one big area of liquidity. So if we get through this, whatever orders are going to get triggered up in this area is going to, you know, is going to cause that that final pop to go into sixty-two thousand and above, and maybe, you know, we'll see some uh, we'll see some new highs. Um, but as it stands right now, as it's kind of just stabilizing and it's working off this area, it's dealing off liquidity on the higher time frame daily and weekly. Um, my my thinking is um, we're, we may see a sharp drop into this liquidity, right, and an immediate snapback. Okay, um, I'm not expecting price, you know, to rip straight through this and then continue going lower uh, at all. You know, the flow doesn't make sense for that. And if it does do that, it would need to come all the way back down to here. And I'm just not seeing that, to be honest, with the way the flows are. The accumulation is to the buy side um, and it heavily favors the buy side. So, you know, in terms of a little bit of manipulation on the side of big, big money, um, I would imagine that drop into this liquidity pool, if it happens, um, will snap back very quickly and then we'll get a drive upwards, okay? Um, and it would be more to just get everybody out of the market that wants to go long in this area, basically. Um, so that's Bitcoin. Uh, daily, again, not really much to discuss in terms of what we're seeing um, other than what we've already effectively gone through. Um, as long as it stabilizes in this area and stays above 56,000, um, between 55 and 56,000, as long as it stays above that area, that, that little range, that sweet spot, um, we are good to go. Uh, but it's just a question of when, so we just have to grind through it. And like I said, be mindful um, of that potential bang bang. Yeah, so drop liquidity, reversal, and then you know, and if it happens, I imagine it'd be pretty quick. Yeah, it'd be pretty, you know, pretty quick. And just as a quick side note, I would say it will probably happen at a time of day when nobody's really paying attention yeah uh, but that's just my personal thought yeah uh, and again don't quote me on anything that i'm saying with bitcoin again it's just an experience thing uh, in terms of flows the way things are going um, it's still upside for me all right so swiss borg um, we've had a very nice price response on swiss borg you know uh, obviously this over the weekend and then we've had some continuation today now i want to discuss something um i obviously didn't know you know, in fact, nobody knew until today, I, if, my, if, if I believe it was correct, if, if I'm correct, sorry. Um, but I believe it was today that they announced the uh, Protect and Burn, which is on the 6th of April, which is today, yeah. So 
my uh, what I wanted to discuss very briefly is if you remember when I was talking about or not if you remember but when I go through these videos and I discuss all the analysis that I do and I'm going through the liquidity pools and I'm you know um, making you know reference to certain levels and so on I did all of that way before um, we had this move yeah now again as you know I like to throughout the videos as we progress throughout the weeks and we become more familiar with each other and the big, you know, the community starts to grow and become stronger on Swissbook, uh, and especially on Discord, where we can all communicate our ideas. You will undoubtedly start to notice throughout the videos, right, that I'm throwing in little bits and bobs here and there for people to, you know, to kind of grab a jigsaw piece and put it, you know, together until eventually you have something that's workable for you. Because ultimately, I can never teach you what I do. Yeah, um, this is personal to me, just like, you know, what Danzo does when he talks about his analysis is personal to him, you know, just like Colin when he does his charts it's personal to him and everybody else that, you know, has their analysis, you know, in the way that they do their analysis for their trading ideas and their investing ideas, it's down to them individually. Having a structured idea, I'll give you a perfect example. When you're learning a language, you, you learn the language, but people use the same language in different ways, you know, um, I, you know, for example, speak Greek, but I'm never going to be in a court, you know, defending somebody, you know, over in Cyprus, for example. So the level of Greek that I need, you know, because um, I'm Cypriot and obviously it's, it was my first language, but the level of Greek that I need, if I wanted to work in a courthouse, you know, I would have to improve on my, my Greek. You know, I don't know, I would have to start to learn different words, but the, the, the Greek's still the same. That, that's what I'm trying to get at. The fundamental ideas of what we're looking at are exactly the same. So when you pick those up, then you can tailor it towards your own personal trading uh, and, and investing um, ideas and make up the way that you are as an individual. So uh, with all of that said, and I just want, like I said, I wanted to throw it in there because it's, it's something that I, I feel is very, very important in terms of Nobody knows when this protect and burn was going to be triggered. And yet we discussed all of this stuff. We had some really nice price movement. Everything, you know, is is um, working out according to plan. So the, the obvious question is, how are people able to do this? Me, myself, you know, somebody else, you know, people that I know, you know, Danzo, for example, some of the things that he discussed over the weekend. How are we able to do these things, you know, um, when the protect and burn, you know, was, was triggered today? Yeah. So... The protect and burn is obviously there to protect, you know, the, uh, the Swiss Borg token, protect it, you know, the people that are holding, protect people that are invested in the company and want to see it grow. But the analysis and fundamental delivery of price will always remain the same, always. Yeah. Uh, and that's important. So I really wanted to get that across. So with Swiss Borg as it is now, let's just pop over to the daily and we can see some basic ideas okay we've we've come down and what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean up this chart just a little bit uh, and we'll make a reference to the liquidity pool here and we can see and i and i know obviously that i dragged it down just to make a reference but i want to show you something quickly because if you remember i dragged it down here to just say this was the remaining liquidity down here but i just want to quickly show you something so this price came down and it dipped into this the acceleration into this level right to pick up 50 percent and then obviously uh, and i'm going to leave this on here now because i want to make the, i want to make a clear distinction where price actually stopped and i've obviously done this already but i'm going to leave this on the chart so we have this area down here right so price has come into a primary liquid uh, <coughs> excuse me a primary liquidity pool and dipped into a secondary liquidity pool down here all right and that was where the uh, the you know price stopped and then we had a nice you know sort of move away from that uh, and then if we take it one step further uh, and I'm just getting a little bit a little bit a little bit more advanced here but if I take it a little bit further green no disgusting um, let's go for blue Take it a step further. I'll just drop down to the hourly. I want to show you something. Okay. So let me just do this. If I just do that and then I can move the chart. There we go. So we came down on the daily, dipped into primary liquidity pool, stopped at the secondary liquidity pool, and then we came up and then it's dipped again. Now this area right here is the tail on the daily chart. Yeah. So this drop, and move back up, okay, is the tail 
on the daily chart and price came down, dipped into the tail, which on the daily all we see, if you remember, um, is the following. We only see a dip into a tail. So most people don't really pay much attention to it, right? But then when we go down to the hourly chart, we can see where that tail actually stopped. So we've got the tail and then we've got price comes up and it drops again into the tail. I'm running out, running out of colors. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to tell you something now, and I'm hoping people are really paying attention because again, I'm giving you gold. Um, tail drops down into the tail. So drops into the first primary liquidity pool, secondary liquidity pool moves away. Nice price response away from that dips again into the tail that's left on the daily chart into an area of liquidity. And look what happens. Price comes all the way down, stops, comes up. Yeah. So I'll do it like this. Uh, price comes down, 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 stops. That's the remaining liquidity pool so far. And then price comes all the way down to do what? Clear out the remaining liquidity there. So the liquidity is gone. And then price didn't look back. Yeah. Boom because there's no liquidity left, yeah. So, oh sorry, the mouse is moving. So um, the, the whole point of all of this, and obviously context is extremely important, okay? This is not just, I'm showing you guys a bunch of things and then you can kind of, you know, go to the charts and off you go. It's about understanding the fundamental, you know, the fundamental delivery of price and how that works, the foundation of how that works. And then when you understand how that works, you can start to see the pockets of liquidity that need to be tapped. That need to be rebalanced and then once they're rebalanced there's nowhere else for price to go other than the opposite direction then it's just a question of trying to figure out where is the opposing liquidity pool that price needs to deal off liquidity and in this case it was slightly higher uh, which it still hasn't done yet okay so i'm very confident um pressing the wrong button here so i'm very confident price is going to be coming to this area up here and then obviously once we stabilize above these levels around about sort of the 125 to 130 level um, we will start to drive you know a, a little bit higher and the key area as i've said before uh, is 135 to 140 we really need to see price stabilize at 135 uh, to 140 and if we do that going forward um, then we're clearing these highs and probably driving to 180 first and then two dollars um, so again you know it's i'll jump over to the daily it's very important to understand you know that we are currently in an area uh, and a time where we've had a really nice price response i'll just clear this up a little bit guys sorry we've had a really nice price response we've just started that turning point now um this is pretty solid yeah i'm quite happy with the way that price is moving i'm quite happy that we're you know it, we, it's unlikely that we're going to be um you know moving moving any lower at this point um if we do okay if we do then the area that i would say price can come to and i'll make this uh a dotted line actually I do like that uh, make it a little bit thick like that that's the area for me that if price does start to to, 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 to run down it's not going to want to come down here it, it can pick up some liquidity here and then you know continue to uh, you know continue to grind you know grind higher into the areas that I made a note of on the um, on the hourly chart so let's just quickly drop down um, to the four hour and see what that looks like uh, yeah, you see that lines up perfectly and it's already dipped into it once, but if it does want to come down, um, then this small area here, obviously I discussed this and I was saying, you know, this is the area about, a, look at the state of this. I mean, look, <laughs> I, I, I can't, I, I can't make this stuff up, you know, um, uh, obviously I discussed this as well, this area here. Um, and we look at this, look, I mean, look at the price response away from that. That's incredible absolutely beautiful man um and my passion for this stuff is just you know i absolutely love charting it's just so relaxing and i just anyway sorry i just went off on one there a little bit but this little area down here like i said price came into it dipped into it and i was saying there is an area down here that could potentially need to be rebalanced 
Um, if price does come down here at any point, it's not going to stay there much longer uh, or, or for long, should I say. So um, for now, this has done the job, you know, and it's quite incredible that it lines up beautifully with the daily as well. Uh, and again, always before the fact, you know, I like to I like to do my best to try and put this out as early as I can just to keep everybody informed. Um, so, so far, very nice, uh, very nice price response, very nice reversal. We've just took out this high ever so slightly today. Um, and I will make a reference to this area here, which is looking very, very nice in terms of a run into liquidity. Just going to make it a little bit of a darker green. Uh, in fact, you know what? Sorry, guys, I, I, I want to make distinctions between these. I'll make it a red. So this area here is a very clean liquidity pool. Um, and if we do dip just a little, OK, that's fine. Um, I wouldn't I don't think we're going to see one dollar again for a while. Um, so this little area here between the sort of 110 to 115 level uh, is an area where for me, price can quite comfortably just dip. Hang around here a little bit, you know, and then go up again. And this is what it's this is what it's gunning for, yeah. And you can quote me on that. This is what Swissborg is going, you know, the actual CSHB uh, is running for. So uh, pay attention to this area here. All right. And again, I want to be extremely, extremely um, cautious about the way that I'm saying the things that I'm saying because I don't want anybody just saying, okay, yeah, well, price is going to go there, so I'm just going to go and you know buy some more. You know, that, that's not what this is about. Um, but I'm making reference to these areas because they're very important. And this is the this is the current draw on price. This is where price is going to want to go. OK, um, you have to be able to, you know, fit in what I'm saying with your own, you know, with your own analysis and make sure that you're always aware of what you're doing when you're you know making your trading and investing decisions. So we'll just go over to Ether quickly. Obviously, I mean, this is we've had, you know, new highs and so on. Uh, and again, it bodes well that it's uh, stabilizing in this area. Uh, the run-up was quite um, quite clean, you know what I mean? It was quite efficient. It was nice and controlled. It wasn't an explosive move to the upside. It was just nice and controlled. We had a nice impulse here and then a little bit of a dip here to pick up some more liquidity, take out the stops here, take out any you know, uh, liquidity it needed to accumulate just under that you know, just under that low there on that tail. Uh, and then it's just been grinding, grinding, takes out the high. And you'll notice as it took out the high, it just started to accelerate just a little bit. Um, and then as we've come back down now, it's stabilized. It didn't just, you know, as you, I'm sure many of you have seen before when price really starts to go and then it hits a certain level, takes out new highs, you think it's going to break out, everybody piles in and then it just reverses and it drops like a tank. Um, that's not what we're seeing here. We're seeing a very nice stabilizing of price up here. So that bodes well for continued up upside. Um, in terms of potential, I uh, can't really see it on the... Um, can't really see it on the weekly. So in terms of a move lower um, before it moves higher, not really seeing much. I mean, it's dipping into a liquidity pool right now. So no, I'm not seeing anything that's concerning in terms of you know uh, serious downside. Uh, maybe 2040, just below this low here, might want to dip into that, but. Um, I think we stabilize in this area uh, and then continue to grind higher uh, on Ether. Um, let's just do a very quick rundown on the rest. Uh, uni, and what I'll do is I'm going to stick to the daily on all of these, and I'm just going to make a reference to a couple of key levels, uh, and then we'll take it from there. So for Uniswap to go higher, uh, I'm going to keep this really simple, guys. For Uniswap to go higher, it needs to get through that. That's it. In terms of downside, um, the levels basically here yeah so there are your two levels upside and downside if price starts to come down there's a huge brick wall for this to go through before it starts to really tank which is very unlikely that that's going to happen with all the um the momentum to the upside of you know uh, the crypto space in general but this is a level that it really needs to get through convincingly hold above this level and then we may start to see um you know some some uh, some more upside take out these highs up here um, Binance, Binance is pretty much running, so there's not really much we can, uh, we can talk about on this. Um, that area just there uh, is the only thing that I can make a reference to on this chart. Um, that's of any significance. We'll do it like this, just make it a bit easier. Um, 
of any significance uh, you know to the downside but we're talking like a pretty pretty significant move all the way back down here i mean i can't see that i would say probably a slowing down in this area the 400 handle is a psychological level as well you know so there would have been a little bit of profit taken up there so um, i imagine we're probably going to slow down in this area a little bit um but this is the key level in terms of you know very strong brick wall you know i can't see binance going through this at any point soon uh packs uh packs gold we're gonna have to go to the weekly for this one so packs gold um that big run just there to take out all the liquidity below here um for those of you who are interested i was doing a, a study uh, on gold recently um and i was waiting for 16 uh, 1650 to be traded to and 1750 to be traded to um, because i wanted to buy a um, a one ounce gold coin um and i literally tracked this all the way down and i'm talking about spot gold i'm not talking about pax gold but because it's um uh because it's um coupled to gold you know it obviously tracks the price of gold pax gold tracks the price of gold sorry i'll say it like that um <clears throat> it's easier to it, sorry it's um i can show you the same thing on this but um it's on my youtube channel so if you want to if you want to kind of go and find that you know, it's a very good study but we tracked it all the way down into the level that i was expecting um, i got the price that i wanted which i was very happy with um, and then we had some more downside it was a very very good study very good study so if you're interested in that you can go and have a look at that on youtube uh, but nothing to really make a note of on uh, on packs ren let's go to the daily interesting that we dropped here uh i can't really see this moving much honestly just just looking at this now uh, and doing a very quick brief overview um of where price has been what it's doing the key levels um i think this is going sideways you know it ran here took out the liquidity here we've had a reversal but it's not really pushing you know pushing higher higher um there's a there's a, an area just up here and i'll leave this one just like that for you guys to go and study but just take a look at this area up here um, and have a see if you can think or, or you know kind of feel out what you think that could potentially be, be um, uh, doing if price runs up into this area do you think price would go through that um, so have a think about that break this down on a four hour and an hourly and have a look at this area um, and you'll uh, you might be able to see what I'm seeing engine uh, nothing I can't do anything with this uh, there's liquidity below there's not much on the upside uh, sideways a little little lower to sideways for me on this one uh, and the other two down here obviously the uh, usdc and dai you know they're you know basically pointless going through as you uh, as you know uh, xrp i'm not going to discuss um, and cardano i'm not going to discuss either so um that's it guys uh, i did go on a little bit today <laughs> i do apologize um that i've uh, been yapping for a little bit but obviously as always i hope you guys are finding these videos useful um you know massive massive kudos to everybody else in the chat that's uh, you know contributing to the community danzo colin and some of the others um you know so I'm, I, I love the fact that people are getting involved, you know, and really starting to, you know, to show their skills and their expertise. Um, and there's just such a wicked dynamic going on in the room, you know, so we're going to continue to push that, you know, and make sure that, the compu you know, we're doing whatever we can to help us, you know, to help as many people as we can and obviously push, you know, um, to grow the community. So I'll leave it at that, guys. And just a very quick mention, Thursday, um, 6.30 GMT time, you know, I will be... Um, in the uh, smart chat uh, smart coffee or smart talk sorry uh, live chat with uh, Ben uh, I'll be um, you know co-hosting that with him so make sure that you get yourself uh, uh, if you if you can make it to that you know we'll be discussing a bunch of stuff which uh, you know should be quite interesting so I'm going to leave it at that guys as always I hope everyone's having an awesome day and I will catch up with you guys in the chat and then obviously in the next video as well take care and I'll speak to you soon